hi queens welcome back hey i missed you guys so if you're new to my channel if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe because i know you're gonna love today's video and you're gonna want some more and you're not gonna want to miss out so definitely make sure that you are subscribed down below turn on your bell so we can be notified when i upload new content over here on my youtube channel okay so if you are new to my channel and have just recently subscribed hello and welcome my name is queen esther or queen she me well i help women to pretty much fall in love with themselves again through self-empowerment through self-love yes and one of those ways for me was through my natural hair journey so you guys if you're interested in today's curl kit review and demo then continue watching so as you can probably already tell from the title yes today is a day review and demo featuring the new shea moisture red palm oil and cocoa butter um collection you guys and look at this damn curl kit because i was just going to initially just do a voiceover video but i wanted to come on here and do a thorough review and demo for you guys but look at this curl kit my box even busted open so yes y'all i'm about that life with curl kit i love curl kit each month you will receive five full-size products in the curl kit for 25 dollars, and that is including your shipping and handling again i receive my curl kit about the third week of every month which is fine because yeah that just works out for me so yes i already kind of went into it because i was just excited i wanted to see what was in here so of course it came with the shea moisture sticker on here and y'all i have been a fan of shea moisture for some time now like literally and when i initially started on my channel one of the brands that i used to feature a lot was shea moisture including as well as Cantu beauty and pantene as well since this is promo card here and it says divine and empower and y'all i am loving these promo cards i love the fact that they explain on here how to use the products and um also and how to style them as well and we did receive a two dollar off coupon so yes of course we did get the curl life booklet i get one of these each and every month well you will too once you subscribe you will receive one of these each month inside of your curl kit and i love this natural list on the front because y'all look the shrinkage is real okay it does come with the editor's note each month this month it says power play and financial freedom and so i'm going to take the time to just read this out so shout out to heather how are you doing girl y'all i love heather she is so interactive over on the curl kit site um, and then of course they list everything that comes in our contents in our kit this month i'm sorry and um i'm gonna go over that with you guys and it also explains the benefits of red palm oil oh man so yes i'm loving this love the curl life book list because they're so informative they always come with such detailed information again and primarily in talking about the products that you receive each and every month again it's five products for $25 a month and that does include your shipping and handling okay so let's get right into today's review you guys let's get it dum 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 <laughs> y'all I'm excited I can't wait to try this out so we're going to start out with using the red palm oil and cocoa butter detangling shampoo it contains flaxseed oil and it says it's for curly coily shrinkage prone hair sulfate free and color safe now what i plan on doing in today's review the video will be a little bit longer today because i want to really go over this collection because i don't even believe it's available on the market yet so yes this is a true takeover for the april 2018 curl kit so of course it has no sulfates no parabens fast lace propylene glycol mineral oil animal testing and petroleum none of those ingredients are inside of these products and i'm pretty sure it's going to say the same thing for the remainder of the collection so it says moisturizing cocoa butter infused with red palm oil rich in antioxidants and vitamins is blended with flaxseed oil to create this anti-shrinkage formula to help show off hair's length while leaving locks soft shiny and tangle free great for three to four c hair types and y'all know i I'm a 3C, 4A, 4B naturalista, and I really do think that now my hair is actually medium porosity. It's not so much as low as it was before at the initial beginning, at the beginning of my natural hair journey. So that's exciting because now I'm not really having to worry about necessarily my hair taking a while to actually open up and receive the water, but it actually is kind of like at a balance right now. So I'm very, very happy about that. So it says apply the wet hair, gently massage and work into a rich lather and rinse thoroughly and then repeat if necessary. The tip here, they say, is to use a wide tooth comb for in shower detangling. Now you guys know when I typically shampoo my hair in the shower, I'm a finger detangler pretty much when it comes to my natural hair. I'm ready. So let's see what this smells like. Oh, and I'm so happy that it does come sealed, if you guys can see that. And that's a biggie for me because 
a lot of times you know products have a tendency to spill out it's not intentional but that extra step of just making sure that everything is sealed in is awesome so i can notice right off the bat that this shampoo is not super thick it's actually of like a liquid consistency and we're going to start out in the back so y'all don't mind me my hair i mean my shirt is probably going to wind up getting super, super soaked because, again, um, it is wet. I just got the shower. Oh, and the only thing I did do to my hair, I did do an ACV rinse on my scalp because my scalp has been super, super dry. So, we're going to start with the shampoo. And as you guys can see, I'm not going to use a whole lot because I can tell that it's super, duper creamy. And I like that. Oh, and it smells so good. It actually does remind me of the... Um, of the reshaping butter that's a part of this collection and i want to take a little bit more i didn't want to use too much because again yeah because again i wanted to just see how the consistency is so we're going to work this on this section and of course i'm going to repeat this on all of the remaining sections as well but i'm not going to hold you guys like that um yeah so what i do like about the shampoo is that yes it is a detangling shampoo um I feel you might have to use a good bit of it. I'm not sure. But see, for me, this will be like my first wash. And if I had to necessarily go back in with the second one, I would. But I'm pretty sure once I get my hair back underneath the faucet to rinse this out again, um, it'll be just fine. It'll lather up some more. But I do like the fact that, yes, it is detangling my hair very, very easily. Again, I do typically wash my hair in the shower. And I'm liking the shampoo. I really, really am. It's really, 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 really nice. It's creamy. It's hydrating. It does have a lot of slip. If you would like to use more shampoo, again, if you're like me, you usually shower, wash your hair in the shower, then yeah, this would definitely work for you. But I am liking how my hair is feeling. It feels very soft. I can feel it softening up. And it doesn't feel stripped. And it does feel very moisturized. So I do like the shampoo. And as you guys can see, my hair is definitely clumping up because it really, really does like it. And when your hair likes a product, even on wash day, including your shampoo, your hair should be clumping up to show that definition and to showing that your hair is actually absorbing the product and allowing it to actually cleanse your hair. Yeah, y'all. I'm loving this. It smells really, really good. <laughs> okay, so when I tell y'all that the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Detangling Shampoo is no joke, it is no joke. So like I suspected, once my hair got underneath the running water, it really lathered up. I really got super slippage. And I mean, my hair is super duper soft. If you guys cannot tell, it is shiny. I had a lot of dry, like, build up, like, right here in the front at my widow's peak or whatever. Um... Again, just from the simple dry weather of Orlando, because where I live is more humid, and where my mom lives is super dry because they're not as close to the water as we are on the Gulf Coast. Okay, so now we're going to continue moving on. Next is the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner. Now, I'm a biggie for products that can be used for multiple purposes because that's just simply how you get more bang for your butt. So I could not wait to try this one out. So I just wanted to read a little bit as to what it states here inside of the Curl Life booklet. It says here, for the leave-in or rinse-out conditioner with flaxseed oil, shrinkage is normal for healthy froze and curly, coily hair. And like I told you guys, once you see your hair curling up while washing it or conditioning it, that means your hair is super healthy, it's absorbing the products, and it's actually working and make sure that it can retain that moisture and hydration for your curls once you go into the set and style process. And then it states here, when you want to show off your length, use this coconut oil-free conditioner that helps stretch and condition shrinkage-prone hair. Moisturizing cocoa butter infused with red palm oil, which and antioxidants and vitamins is blended with flaxseed oil to create this anti-shrinkage formula to help maximize the appearance of hair's length. Leaves hair soft and manageable, great for 3 to 4C hair types. So, I wanted to just make sure I was giving you guys the correct facts, so that's why I read directly from the actual Curl Life booklet. So, I'm excited to try this out. I like the fact that they always have the caps where you can open it and close it, so you don't have to worry about anything spilling out. So, I'm excited about that. So, what we're getting ready to do, I am going to simply start on this front section because I want you guys to see the texture of my hair and just how... And just how it absorbed the product really nicely and how clean my hair is as well after using the cleansing detangling shampoo. Did I get that right? I'm sorry, the detangling shampoo. Alright, so I got you guys up a little bit higher. So again, I wanted to show you guys my hair. And again, this is freshly rinsed after using the shampoo. And y'all, look at 
the length of my hair. So my hair is super duper clean. As you guys can see, the water droplets and everything. I mean, but my hair is super duper clean. So what we're getting ready to do now is again, we're going to take the rinse out conditioner and I'm going to use it for a rinse out and I'm also going to use it for my deep conditioner in a sense so I am going to make sure that I use a good amount of this good amount of this because I want to make sure that my hair is fully coated because again I'm going to use it as a deep conditioner so just based off the scent a very clean natural fresh scent you can tell that it definitely has cocoa butter in there definitely um and again the red palm oil you can definitely smell in there so it does have a clean natural scent so i wouldn't be looking for anything like fruity or super fragranced you guys with this collection because again it's super natural and it just has again the red palm oil and the cocoa butter not coconut oil but cocoa butter and butters are so hydrating for my hair type and specific specifically because again i'm like medium to low porosity now and my hair really does you know take more to having more butters and heavy creams to actually retain that moisture in my hair so this is what my hair looks like and as you guys can see my hair just simply just sopped that on up like it literally just drank that on up. all right so before i add any more conditioner i want to go ahead and just detangle lightly and see if i was in the shower i wouldn't need my comb because my hair will be fully drenched soaking wet with water and then i could just apply a little bit more of this actual leave-in conditioner or rinse out conditioner as we're using it right now so my hair is fully detangled i am going to apply a little bit more because again i'm using this as a deep conditioner right now so i'm not focusing on my scalp with this product because i don't want to create any kind of product buildup. i'm just mainly focusing on the lengths of my hair and especially the ends since the ends are the oldest parts of our hair I'm simply going to twist this back into a two strand twist because this helps to make sure that my hair stays elongated that it doesn't tangle back up on itself and yeah and I like the fact that this collection focuses on making sure that it shows off your actual hair length and not necessarily giving you that super duper shrinkage that a lot of people will look for when they're going for like styling and whatnot because I plan on doing a different style today and so I'm excited because it's gonna be my first one of 2018 so you guys will be getting to see it first but this is with the rinse out leave-in conditioner and y'all my hair is popping like it really is it feels so freaking good and it's so freaking hydrated and this is all the shed hair that I have I have a lot of shedding this time because that weather again was dry my hair was not ready for that at all but i'm glad my hair wasn't flat twist so i'm going to continue this on the remaining sections and i'll come right back you guys after i've left this on for about 30 40 minutes okay queen so i'm back i rinsed my hair of the leave-in conditioner and i'm gonna say that i really did like the fact that i did go ahead and use it for like a deep conditioner now my tip for you guys is to not go super heavy handed with it um because again you're going to be going in with some more of the actual leave-in product again in addition to the other styling products so you typically don't want to overload your hair with a whole lot of products even though you're using it for an actual deep conditioner okay if you guys understand what i'm saying because again you don't want to have so much product on your hair from actually washing it then when you go to set and style that your products won't actually set and style properly and i learned that from sister scientists when i went to the mississippi natural hair expo recently we're going to be doing a wash and go today using the red palm oil and cocoa butter collection from shea moisture so i'm super excited first wash and go 2018 so wish me luck you guys <laughs> okay you guys so i decided to do the back section off camera first and i'm glad i did because i went in with the styling jelly and just as i feared 
it balled up on my hair like me and my hair just do not do well with gels like I don't know what it is when I was relaxed my hair loved hair gels it took it very well I can use it for any kind of style but I don't know I think with this product I may have to use this for like a twist out or a braid out to see how it would actually work on my natural hair so I did use it on only like this one section down here I mean, I didn't use it on the rest of this side, but I did down here. But it did kind of ball up some, but my hair is not completely dry. But I did want to show you guys what my hair was looking like so far. And I like how my hair feels super light. It doesn't feel weighed down. It doesn't feel like it has a whole bunch of products on it. Yeah, I've been using the leave-in and the curl stretch pudding. And I like how my hair doesn't feel weighed down. Um, It does give it a nice um, amount of hold. I feel it's not like a super duper heavy hold. But I won't know until my hair actually fully dries. But I do like what I'm seeing so far on this left side. Because I just used the leave-in and the curl stretch pudding only and then again on this bottom right section just this first part i only i use the leave-in the curl pudding and the styling jelly so again i will be using and trying out the actual styling jelly in another video i'll have to experiment with that some more but i really do like the leave-in and the curl stretch pudding i like the way that my hair feels it's very very light and i mean it's moisturized too so i know my hair is going to take about all day to dry but Let's continue on with the rest of the front section, you guys. I just wanted to stop, show you guys how my hair was looking in the back so far. And I have been doing the shingling method. And I've still been learning and trying to perfect my own shingling method. So bear with me. If y'all got any tips, leave them down below for your girl. But yeah, we're going to continue on so that we can finish this wash and go. conjunction with the curl stretch pudding but what I did to take down a lot of the um flaking well pretty much to me it looks like a lot of it has went down was I just refreshed my hair with water that's all I did so I just took my little spray bottle and misted my hair and simply just reactivated the product on my hair because it was dry outside surprisingly today and my hair dried super duper fast so I don't think the products were able to actually absorb 
in enough time before my hair actually dried. So yes, yeah, so I think the pills was just laying on top. So just simply refresh your hair because at first I was like, oh man, because I really was liking how my definition was looking. It's not like it was like super clumpy, but yeah, it was showing like a lot more of my like type four natural hair. So that's what I really like about this collection. Another thing I noticed too is that my hair because I have not done a wash and go in so long that I had a lot of length this wash day this go around I mean for my wash and go and I was just surprised at just how long my hair actually was and just again achieving a wash and go so this is the first one for 2018 I really did enjoy using the red palm oil and cocoa butter collection from Shea Moisture this was the April 2018 Shea Moisture takeover for the curl kit y'all it was lit and I really did like everything now again like I stated earlier the styling jelly, I wanted to try that separately because I noticed in this small back section here when I tested it out that it immediately started to ball up and that was in conjunction with the leave-in and the pudding itself. But the other product that I wanted to talk about very quickly was the Reshaping Shine Butter. Now this was the preview that we sh that I shared with you guys and a few others of us that are a part of the Curl Kit family, we shared with you guys the reshaping shine butter last month in March so you guys knew what was coming for the April curl kit and I really do again like the reshaping shine butter because I like the fact of how it's lightweight and it really does give your hair a lot of shine so I did apply this first before going in with the water um I probably should have did it the other way I'm not sure but um I was just remembering that I need to use this in the video so Y'all, I really do like this product. It's really lightweight. It has a very, very, very light scent. That's another thing that I'm appreciative of because I just like collections that smell consistent across the board. And that is very big to me because sometimes variation is scents and then at the end, you don't know what your hair may be smelling like and that's not what we're going for. Another thing that I like is that these products did not weigh my hair down whatsoever and I think that's another reason why my hair dries so fast. And I like the fact that the leave-in is very moisturizing and it will surprisingly make you think that you're not putting enough on there. So I think next time I will go a little bit lighter with the actual leave-in and then just use the same amount of curl stretch pudding that I used initially because again my hair was like super lightweight and I did use a good bit amount of this leave-in because my hair is pretty thick I should say but it's not coarse um I don't feel my hair is coarse either and I've been noticing that too so I've been learning a lot more of my hair as it's been growing but you guys, I really do like the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Collection from Shea Moisture. So I'm so happy that I was able to get this curl kit for this month. Again, there may still be some available. I'm not sure, but you better use my link down below so you can save 10% off of your first curl kit, okay? So that way you can also, too, go ahead and make a decision on if you want to go ahead and get the May Curl Kit. But y'all, I really did enjoy this collection i'm so happy that i did do the unboxing review and demo with you guys and i just enjoyed it so i'm probably going to get about three days wear out of this wash and go i typically do for lightweight wash and goes anyways which is fine with me and yeah because then my hair is not weighed down i don't have a lot of product which means i can refresh my hair probably without even having to really go in with any additional products so that works out for me and yeah so let me know your thoughts down below let me know if you did get the actual april 2018 curl kit as a part of the shea moisture takeover you guys because i enjoyed it you guys saw my results you guys saw my honest reviews and i want to know what you guys think down below in the comments okay so again thank you so much for hanging out with me today queens make sure that you are subscribed down below turn on that bell so you can be notified when i upload new content and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye queens Mwah!